Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what's new at VMware Explorer 2022. So VMware Explorer 2022 is already started two days ago in US. So here is the actually VMware Explorer in the US. It started on 29th August and until tomorrow, September 1st, 2022. The key focus area is the center of the multi cloud universe. And formerly we call it as VM World. Now it's changed the name to VMware Explorer. So VM World is now VMware Explorer. If you are from the other geo regions, if you want to register for a virtual events or any of the upcoming events, you can search in the Google with VMware Explorer and register for more updates and the latest product releases information. OK, and with interest of our time, I will just quickly cover uh, until today, what is the latest news and all I will cover here a quick preview of VMware announcements at VMware Explorer 2022. So they are focusing on mainly four platforms, uh, starting with application platform and cloud and edge infrastructure, networking and security cloud management. So within these four platforms, when it comes to the specifically to the application platform and within the application platform, they release the major product releaser Tanju application platform version 1.3 and Tanju Kubernetes grid in short form TKG. So TKG latest version 2.0 is released. OK, and so even if you are learning the VMware Tanju, you can try to start using the latest version, start updating to the latest versions. OK, so TAP Tanju application platform version 1.3 and TKG version 2.0. OK, and Cloud and edge infrastructure also, there are some new releases. So interesting release, sir. As I mentioned in our previous sessions, see the VMware vSphere 8 is announced officially. OK, now it is official. VMware vSphere 8, VMware Virtual SAN 8, and VMware Cloud Foundation Plus. In our recent re releases, VMware already introduced vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus. Similarly, VMware for the private cloud and hybrid cloud solutions, we are using VCF, VMware Cloud Foundation. This VMware Cloud Foundation also, they released with a VCF Plus. OK, and VMware Edge Compute Stack specifically for the edge infrastructure. So VMware Edge Compute Stack version 2.0 also released. OK, and so this is the major releases what I observed until now and even under the network and security platform. We know previously we have NSXV and NSXT and recently VMware this product name change from NSXT to VMware NSX 4.0 and there are some enhancements they officially announced. So DPU based acceleration for NSX 4.0. And DPU means uh, data processing unit. Normally, we are aware of CPU central processing unit and we are aware of GPU graphical processing unit mainly used for uh, video analytics applications. Similarly, in our network and security perspective also for there are some uh, enhancements using the DPU data processing unit. So in the later sessions, I will explain you in detail of what is the DPU architecture and all. Just understand one uh, latest announcement is DPU based acceleration for NSX 4.0. And also there are some new enhancements for the vRealize Network Insight 6.7. And, and who are the customers are using cloud management? There are some interesting updates in the cloud management also. And they are changed the name formally vRealize Cloud Management. Now the officially they changed the name to VMware ARIA. OK, and not only for the cloud management and wherever we have the name VMware, we realize that we realize name now they updated with uh, ARIA, VMware ARIA. Maybe in future, if you are seeing we realize network insight, we may call it as uh, we ARIA network insight and even we realize operations manager. We may call it as uh, we ARIA operations manager. That is the changes they officially announced. OK, and the new features of what is the new features in vSphere 8 and vSphere 7? I will cover in the latest session and as per the VMware official article, what they are saying is uh, this all these products, whatever the latest releases and announcements officially available to the public from the October 20, uh, 2022 onwards. So maybe 
uh, by end of October, we, it will be officially available these products to download from the VMware download site. OK, and in addition, not only this high level quick view and even the VMware Explorer, currently there are so many sessions are going going on. And as per the official VMware site, it says that choose from 900 plus sessions from 1000 plus different speakers. Uh, speakers means not only VMware employees, we even we have uh, some external experts, partner solutions, partners, partners also will talk about the some of the joint solutions. So this 900 plus sessions, uh, so much content to uh, explore and if you want to review this one you can just uh, either uh, join for a nearby your geo location or you can uh, at register for your virtual event and explore all this content okay and also we can hear breaking news and announcements live on stage from vmware leaders and also party with our friends at the biggest it family reunion of the year because uh, most of the people there is no more events during the last two years uh, due to corona situation or covid 19 situation so mostly everything going smooth this time and attend the industry's premier multi cloud event and also network with old and new colleagues at the welcome reception and uh, get our kubernetes journey started with v vmware tanju so there are some enhancements uh, specifically to the vsphere with tanju and also the running the vcf on tanju and even if you want to run the tanju in our environments there is a multiple enhancements like uh, either you can use nsx ab load balancer or if you want to use nsxt you can use or if you want to try with any of the open source for the specifically to the load Load balancing you can use HA proxy but the new features and enhancements I will cover separately and even if you want to test and explore the latest product releases you can try yourself at least the uh, the latest greatest VMware products with hands-on labs so you can register to HOL site and start exploring all those latest releases and uh, even if you want to learn the virtual events, just register now and join us at the center of the multi cloud universe. OK, so hope you got some quick updates, uh, mainly uh, vSphere and vSAN also matching to the vRealize automation versions and VR ops versions all become in a eight series now. OK, so that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, Please do view, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Man Cloud Garage. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.